All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Hashtag Academy series. We're back for episode four. I'm loving this series. If you're enjoying it too, make sure you subscribe to the Hashtag United channel. We're making great content for you guys. And remember, football season's just around the corner. Whoever wins this series will be playing regularly in the Hashtag United team. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss any videos when they drop. Today's a very exciting episode. It's challenge time. Okay, we're kicking off with some physical challenges. I'm about to tell all the boys what they're gonna be getting up to today. We've also got a brand new format point for the series this year. It's called The Bench, okay? We're gonna tell you all about that later on, but it's essentially where you guys come in and you vote to save certain players. And all that voting will happen on the Glitch app, okay? So make sure you've downloaded it. We're aware some of you are in certain territories and it's not allowing you to vote or, or to access the Adidas Glitch app. So take a look in the description if that's you and there's some information on how you can vote, okay? So this is gonna be a very exciting episode. Let's go talk to the lads, tell them what they're doing in these physical tests. Let's go. Okay lads, welcome back to the Hashtag Academy, the final eight. This is crunch time, okay? We're kicking things off today with some physical challenges. So we're gonna test your, your physical fitness, your prowess, what you can do. Not, they're not necessarily gonna be directly football related challenges, but we're gonna learn a little bit more about your, your physical condition from these challenges. We're gonna use that to help us decide who goes through. A Little bit different to last year, it's changed up a little bit, okay? Whoever wins over all the physical challenges and finishes top today, that person will be immune from elimination. They will be sailing through to the next episode, no questions asked, guaranteed. Okay, only one person could do that today. There'll also be one person sitting at the bottom of that leaderboard, and they'll be in danger. They won't be automatically eliminated like they were last series. We're changing it up a little bit, and we're getting the audience at home involved. So that person who finishes bottom will move on to what we're calling the bench. Then we have six of you left, okay? Of those six, as deliberators, us judges are gonna have a chat after we've seen you doing the challenges, but also thinking about everything else that's happened in this series so far. We're taking it all into consideration. We will choose four more of you to join the person that's got themselves immunity. That puts five through for the next episode, leaves two left as well as the lad on the bench. Okay, are you with me? These two people will then join the person that's finished bottom on the bench, leaving three people sitting on the bench, and that's where these guys come in at home, okay? The audience at home are then gonna vote on the Glitch app to save one of the three players on the bench. So we will lose two people from this episode. We won't know in today's episode who that is, because people are gonna go home, they're gonna vote on the Glitch app, and we'll find out at the start of next episode who's been saved, which means we'll start next episode, which is gonna be some technical challenges with six players. Do you all understand? The most important thing is finishing top, getting yourself immunity. It means we don't have to talk about you, make a decision, and the audience don't have to vote on you. Okay, good luck. It's gonna be a physical taxing day, but I'm sure you do well. You've done fantastic to get to the final eight. Let's see if you can get to the final six. Let's go. Right, so I'm here with Lewis Burkane. How do you fancy yourself in these physical challenges? Uh, yeah, I definitely would say that the physical challenges will probably benefit me more so than the technical challenges. So um, hopefully I can do all right. To be honest, not very confident. Um, it's not one of my strongest attributes, but um, I'm just hoping I can really power through. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also a bit, a bit nervous because obviously I'm not the biggest person, but physical, it's not just about how big you are. It's, you can be other types, you have to show that you're big to be stronger and physical within the game. The comments section are telling, telling me that you've lost your powers when the durag's gone. What's going on? Yeah, I had to put it back on for the physical challenge and technical, so hopefully we'll see. Okay, let's get these physical challenges underway, starting off with the sprint test for speed over short distances. Last series we did this over 30 yards, now we're doing it over 30 metres, slightly longer. Charlie Morley demonstrating it here, he gets a time of 4.45 seconds, so a good benchmark. Okay, Louis Lawler up first, the goalkeeper. Can he beat Charlie Morley's 4.45? He doesn't, he gets 4.71. We get to see how that ranks against the other boys. Next up is Lewis Burkane, the centre back. A powerful player, but how fast is he? 4.83, that's slower than Louis Lawler. Sean Alexander next, another centre back. And the lads were allowed to start however they wanted. They could choose to start with a sprint start or a standing start. Sean Alexander has just improved on Lewis Burkane's speed of 4.81. Louis Lawler still in the lead. Can Izu change that? Another centre back, 4.77. Louis Lawler still the quickest so far. Not bad for a keeper. Isaac Skubik up now. And he has got a 4.78. So close. Bertu Sehan up next. And he gets a 4.8. 
8. That's the slowest so far. Sorry, Bertu. Next up is Samraj Gill. It's the first challenge of the day. And he gets 4.91. So that becomes the slowest score. Finally, though, it's the speed demon himself, Joshua Asuda, expecting him to win this one. What can he get? It's a very quick 4.26. Almost half a second quicker than the next quickest, which was Louis Lawler. By the way, only Asuda beat Charlie Morley's score. So at the end of that first challenge, we take a look at the leaderboard. You can see that Joshua Asuda has won that challenge. He gets seven points for that one. Louis Lawler gets six. Izu gets five. Skubik gets four. Sean Alexander gets three points. Louis Burke with two. One point for Bertu Sehan. No points for Samraj Gill. Five more challenges to go. The challenge is a completely different test. You know, you're, you're under the spotlight. It's like you and the camera, and then that's it for, for how many, whatever challenges they set. <laughs> Next up is our power test. We did this one last time. It's all about how hard you kick the ball. We've got an app which tells us the exact speed. You haven't got to hit the target, but it helps. Louis Lawler up first. What can he do? 76 miles an hour. By the way, Lee Hersey got 72 miles an hour in his demonstration there. So good start from Louis Lawler. Chris Burkane's rifled that one, and he's also got 76, so completely level with Louis Lawler. Sean Alexander up next, looking to beat 76. He's got 63 miles an hour, so a little bit slower there. Izu is going next. Bang, there's the strike. 67 miles an hour It's registered. Isaac Skubik, can he beat 76, which is the leading speed? No, he can't. 72 miles an hour. Not bad, second best so far. Bertu Sehan then, 76 remains the speed to beat. It's a nice hit, but it's only 69 miles an hour for Bertu. Samraj Gill didn't have a great first round. Can he make up for it here? On the left foot, he gets 67 miles an hour. Same as Izu. Finally then, Joshua Asude. He doesn't hit the target. It doesn't matter. It still registers 70 miles an hour. That's the third quickest. So we'll take a look at the leaderboard after round two. You can see the joint winners were Louis Lawler and Louis Burkane, both with 76 miles an hour. They split the points. So instead of getting seven and six points, they get six and a half each. Sean Alexander finished last on the power test. What does that mean for the overall leaderboard? It means that Samraj Gill sits bottom with 1.5 and currently leading the way is Louis Lawler with 12.5. How are you feeling? Confident. Um, as I say, there's some strong lads out here, but I'm willing to match them every step of the way. I think my age is probably going to play a factor today. I think obviously I'm a bit younger, probably not as strong as the other guys, but obviously I'm going to give it my best. There's a few endurance events, which is more sort of a test of my mental strength, so hopefully that can pull me through. Not the biggest guys, but you know, I've got the determination, so I'll bring it on. My strength is um, aerobic capacity. I can go for quite a while, so I'm hoping that pulls me through in a bleep test. Okay, next is the standing vertical jump test. We've swapped it for the standing long jump we did in the first series. It's all about how high you can jump and reach with your arms. So when doing this, we measure how high you can reach standing up, first of all. We then see how high you get when jumping and we, we subtract the difference. So it's all about the number between. It's not necessarily about who jumps the highest, it's who jumps the highest for their height, so to speak. So starting off is Louis Lawler, okay? He's got a 68 centimeter standing vertical jump, okay? His maximum reach was two meters 39. He jumped three meters and seven centimeters. So you work out the difference, 68 centimeters is Louis Lawler's score. Lewis Burkane up next. He has got a score of 64 centimeters. Not quite as big a jump as Louis Lawler, who's a goalkeeper, maybe you expect it. Sean Alexander, just a 50 centimetre vertical jump. Not necessarily going to be the tallest person that wins this. It's all about how high they can get off the ground in relation to their height. Izu is the biggest lad though, and he has got the best jump so far, 70 centimetres. Decent. Isaac Skubik up next, and he's got 53 centimetres off the ground there. Now, Bertu Sehan is the shortest player, but can he get one of the bigger jumps? You know what? That's not bad, considering he's starting a lot lower than everyone else. 62 centimetres. Better than Skubik, who's a bit taller than him. Fair play to Sehan. Samraj Gill up next, and he's got 46 centimetres, the shortest jump so far, and he needs to start picking up some points. Joshua Asude to finish off the round. What can he get? It's a very big jump for a man who's not the tallest. It's 72 centimetres, which is the biggest. It's bigger than Izu's, who's about eight or nine inches taller than him. That's very impressive. 
So Joshua Asude wins that round with a 72 centimetre vertical jump. Samraj Gill finished bottom with 46 centimetres. So what does that mean for the overall leaderboard halfway through the physical challenges? Joshua Asude leads the way with 18 points. In second place is Louis Lawler with 17.5. In joint third, you've got Lewis Burkane and Izu both with 12.5. Great battle between those two centre-backs. Isaac Skubik not far behind on 11 points. Bertu Sehan has 7. Sean Alexander has 4. Samraj Gill has 1.5 points. He needs to pick some up or else he risks being on the bench at the end of the episode. Right, Devs, it's physical challenge week. Now, how important is this for you as a manager, watching these boys take on these challenges and tests? Um, yeah, really important. Um, I've managed to see them in, in game environment, in, in that kind of pressured situation and being part of a team. Now, today, we get to see them um, being tested against each other, but also against themselves. There's going to be some challenges there where it's just them and they can only affect um, their own, own performance. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. Um, it's physical challenges, but also it's going to be a test of their resilience and their mental strength. Next up is the wall sit, superbly demonstrated here by none other than Stevie CB. It's a stamina test. How long can you sit against the wall? We've decided you can't use your hands, so you can't put your hands on your knees for support. That's the rule we've decided on. So it's sitting against the wall for as long as you physically can. Last one sitting gets the maximum points. First one out gets none. It's a patience test. You've got to go to your happy place, meditate. Some of the boys closing their eyes and dreaming of winning the Hashtag Academy series. Isaac Skubik throwing a few hashtags in there. We like that. We do like that. No bonus points, unfortunately, though, for hashtagging it. Who's going to drop out first? One minute in now. Very impressive. Louis Lawler looks across to his fellow competitors. His legs are shaking. I think he's going to go. The keeper could be the worst sitter here. Yeah, he's gone. Louis Lawler drops out. No points for him. Started off fantastically well on the physical challenges, but struggled on the sit. We're going to skip forward in time here. Joshua Sude have a lovely smile on his face. Samraj Gill is dreaming of a far off place. Two minutes in now. Sean Alexander is dropping a little bit and he is gone. And he needs to pick up some points as well. Samraj Gill has gone further. There's a battle between those two at the bottom of the table right now. Skubik has gone just after Sean Alexander. Okay, people are starting to drop like flies. Three minutes in now, these lads have done very well. When you consider that Louis Lawler dropped out after one minute 19, these guys have more than doubled that now. Who will be next to go? Joshua Asude is struggling, it seems. Four minutes on the clock now. These legs are holding out. Samraj Gill, though, has dropped and he's picked up some important points. Four lads remain. The two big centre-backs and the two slightly smaller lads, Bertu Sehan and Joshua Asude, are still going strong. A little bit of readjustment there. Alberto Sehan has struggled and he's out all oh, and his legs are gone and that, I love that to be fair to him. Look how much this lad has put in. He's left it all on the fence. I rate it. He's going to need a little bit of a rub down, but he's left it all on the park. Good lad, Bertu Sehan. He finishes fourth. Joshua Sude out next. He finishes third. So it is the two big centre-backs as Badger gives Sehan a little bit of a rub down there. Getting that lactic acid out of his legs. Who will drop first out of Lewis Burkane and Izu? Both competing for a place positionally as well in the hashtag team as centre-backs. This is a great battle between the two big men. Five minutes on the clock now. It's fantastic from both of them. Look at the desire on their faces. I absolutely love it. A lot of time for these lads. They've done really well. Who will go first? Will it be Lewis? Will it be Izu? We're into five and a half minutes now. This is unbelievable from these boys. And Lewis looks across at Izu saying, when are you going to drop, pal? But it is Burkane who goes first. He finishes with a very impressive 5 minutes 36. Obviously, Izu can then drop whenever he wants to as he's won. He gets 5 minutes 40. Well done, boys. Good sitting. Great sitting. It's amazing they're still standing, to be honest. Burkane having a little rest here. A little shake off and back in it. Don't forget to hashtag it. Lovely. Like I say, no bonus points for not forgetting to hashtag it. But we do like it. Let's take a look at the leaderboard then. So the first person out on the sitting round was Louis Lawler. He gets no points for that. Izu won it. He got seven points. Okay, let's take a look at what that means overall. Leading the way right now is Joshua Asude on 23 points. Looking good 
in these physical challenges so far. Second place is Izu with 19.5. Luis Burke not far behind on 18.5. Louis Lawler with 17.5, doing pretty well. Then we have Isaac Skubik on 13 points, Bertu Sehan on 11, Sean Alexander on 5, and Samraj Gill on 4.5. So Alexander and Gill in danger. So next up, we've got a new challenge where you have to hang from a goal as long as possible. Guess what we're calling it? The goal hanger. Charlie Morley demonstrating it here. Just last as long as you can until your arms give up, maybe your wrists give up. And if you last the longest, you get the most points. If you drop first, you get zero points. So the guys are going to take turns doing this. We only had enough goals to do it in, in two sets of four, if you like. But we'll let you know who drops first. Starting off here with the four lads who are currently on the four bottom places on the leaderboard. So these guys need the points the most. It's all about what time they get overall, of course. Sean Alexander looking pretty strong so far. Samraj Gill has dropped. Skubik not far behind. Samraj Gill got 23 seconds. Skubik got 24 seconds. We don't know if they finished bottom yet because we haven't seen the second group of lads go. But we know that they're not going to be winning it. Sahan's dropped next. He's got 39 seconds. Sean Alexander still going strong. Looking good. Again, just like the sitting challenge before, this is endurance, stamina-based challenge. If you can really get inside your own head and just not listen to the pain, just forget the pain for a little bit of time. You can really get a good score on this. And that's exactly what Sean Alexander is doing here. He has dropped there. He's got one minute and four seconds. That's double decent. Will it be good enough to win, though? It all depends how the next four do. We've got Joshua Asude, Izu, Lewis Burkane, and Louis Lawler hanging for their lives in the academy, not their actual lives. And Louis Lawler struggling a little bit, and he has gone. And that is the slowest. Only eight seconds. Louis Lawler last, so it means that Samraj Gill has got some points. Who's going to drop next? Joshua Asude has gone out after 28 seconds. And it's these two again, the two centre-backs battling it out, hanging off the goal. Burkane versus Izu. Who will drop first? Izu just got the nod on the sitting and he's just beaten Burkane on the hanging as well. Let's not forget though, Louis Burkane 17 years old, Izu 24 years old. So seven years between them. Got to take that into consideration. But Izu is doing fantastically well here. I think he's going to win this challenge. One minute four to beat is what Sean Alexander got. Can he beat it? Every second counts here. He's hanging on and he gets one minute and eight seconds. So he does get maximum points once again. So let's take a look at the leaderboard after the penultimate round. Izu gets maximum points with seven. Sean Alexander gets uh, six points. He needed those points as well. Louis Burkane gets five. Louis Lawler got the least amount of time hanging, only eight seconds, so he gets zero points for that round. Overall, it means that Izu takes the lead with 26 and a half points. Asude just behind with 26. Louis Burkane on 23 and a half points as we enter the final round. And bottom currently is Samraj Gill with just five and a half points. Now, second from bottom is Sean Alexander on 11 points. It basically means if Samraj Gill wants to avoid going automatically onto the bench because he finished bottom. He has to not only have a very good score, because seven points is the most he can get, meaning he'd finished with 12 and a half points. He also has to beat Sean Alexander by quite some way because he's already on 11 points. So just two points for Sean would guarantee him avoiding the bench at least automatically. So what is this final round I hear you ask? It's the round that separates the men from the boys. It's the bleep test. No demonstration for this one. I think you all know how bleep tests work by now. You've got to run in between the two lines. Uh, you've got to get there before the beeps. If you miss two beeps in a row, you're out. You always get one warning if you miss one because you can make it up and make up the time in the next length, so to speak. But uh, yeah, you don't want to miss two in a row, you're out. So these guys are literally running for their place in the series right now. Remember, it's not just the bottom place who automatically drops onto the bench. Top place is immune from elimination and sails through straight to the next episode. Right now, that battle is between Izu, Burkane and Asude in terms of the most points going to be registered in these physical challenges. So who will drop out first? Pretty slow at the start of the bleep test, so we're going to fast forward it here. Straight into level 11, 11.3 to be precise. Fantastic that everyone's got double figures. That's the minimum you expect. But Louis Lawler is trailing off a little bit. He might be our first casualty of the bleep test. And Louis Lawler is out with 11.4 registered. So no points for Louis. He's going to finish somewhere in the mid-table spots in this physical challenge. Up to 12.3 now. Who is going to be next? It's Louis Burkane. So he will not be winning immunity not done as well on the beep test. I think that sitting challenge really took it out of his legs. So Lewis Burkane gets 12.3.
Isaac Skubik is next to go, 12.5 for him, and they're starting to drop pretty quickly now. Who's going to be next out? Bertu Sehan a little bit off the pace. He needs to pick things up in this length or else he will be leaving the bleep test. I don't think he's going to make it. And the judges have informed him he's out. Sehan with a 12.7 there. Not bad, though, from Sehan. Who's going to be next as we go to level 13.1? Fantastic effort from these boys. Oh, it's a joint departure, two at the same time. 13.2 is as far as both Sean Alexander and Samraj Gill can go. Asude drops out next, 13.3. You know what that means? It's just Izu left. He doesn't have to keep running, but he wants to show what he's capable of. And he's got all the way to the 14s now. He's at 14.6, trying to get to 14.7. And it's a fantastic effort from Izu, who has won the beep test and has won the overall physical challenge as well. I don't think he's going to go any further. 14.7 is his score, and that is solid. That is athletic. Well done, Izu. He's immune. He's hashtagging it as well. Seb was the reigning bleep test champion from our first ever bleep test at Hashtag United, so it's nice to see Seb congratulate him. And Izu did beat Seb's original score. I'll let you know. I think Seb's original score was 13.8. No doubt about it, Izu is in great physical condition. Let's take a look at the end leaderboard for the physical challenges. So, winning immunity and going straight through to the next episode is Izu. He gets 14.7 on the beep test, 33.5 points overall for the day. He finishes top. In second place, just behind him with 32 points, is Joshua Asude. So he's not safe yet. In third position is Lewis Burkane with 24.5 points. Not bad for a 17-year-old. In fourth position is Bertu Sehan with 18 points. In fifth position, Louis Lawler, 17.5. Started off the physical challenges really well, dropped off a little bit towards the end. But for a goalkeeper, physical fitness still important, maybe not as important. In sixth position, Isaac Skubik gets 17 points. In seventh position with 15 and a half points is Sean Alexander. And unfortunately for Samraj, with just 10 points, despite a, a little bit of a rejuvenation towards the end of the challenges, he finishes bottom, which means he's straight onto the bench facing the public vote. The question is, who will join him? It's time for me and the judges to deliberate now and decide who we're going to send onto the bench with Samraj Gill. We know we can't send Izu. He's safe. We've got to pick two more names. We don't just have to consider the challenges today. We've also got to think about the series in general, performances from the lads, attitude, personality, age, etc. So it's going to be a tough decision. Who will be joining Gill on the bench? And who are you guys going to have to save for next episode? Right, Izzy, I have to say congratulations. You've come first place in the group of the physical challenges, which means you are now immune and through automatically to the next round. Talk to me. How does it feel? Yeah, man, it feels great. Obviously, I came here to win and I'm happy I achieved that. And um, yeah, man, the immunity is a great little add-on. Nice little peace of mind. Good stuff, mate. Good job. Okay, lads, thank you very much for completing those physical challenges. We've all done really well. Of course, uh, we know a few things now. First of all, we know Izu has done fantastic and he's earned himself immunity from the public vote. You're straight through to the next episode. Well done. Of course, Izu's at the top end of the table. At the bottom end of the table, we had Samraj Gill. Unfortunately, that means you are on the bench, as we're calling it. So if you'd like to step forward, and it means your, your place is at risk. Samraj is the first name on the bench. Uh, the next two lads joining Samraj on the bench. Obviously, this wasn't an easy decision. Um, it's luckily for us, we're not eliminating you. We're giving over to the audience to decide, so the onus is on you guys. But the next two people we're going to be asking to go up to the public vote are Bertu Sehan, step forward, please, and Sean Alexander. Okay. So you three are now on the bench, as we're calling it. The audience is going to vote on the Glitch app, and one of you will be saved in time for next episode. We will be losing two of you from the process. Okay. Well done, boys. Vote now. Okay, guys, it is the end of a long day here and our physical challenges have come to an end. You see that Izu smashed it. He's going to go through to the next episode. And you know the three that are in danger. Okay, Sean, Alexander, Samraj, Gil, and Bertu Sehan. You need to save one of them, guys. You need to get over to the Glitch app ASAP. Get on that app, start voting, and you choose your favourite. It's as simple as that. You can only vote once and you're going to save one of them. Two of them we're going to lose. It's always unfortunate to lose players at this point because you really get to know the boys at this point. But that's how we move on. That's how we progress. We go from eight to six players for next episode. So we've done the hardest bit. We've chosen five of them. Well, one of them has chosen himself by getting immunity. You need to choose the last one. Okay, who is going to join the other five? As usual, let us know in the comments below what you think of our decisions, what you think of the performances, who are you most excited about? Has your favourite changed? Who do you think is going to win? 
These are all massive questions. Make sure you subscribe to the Hashtag United channel for more top quality football content. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. Oh